Hey guys, Brian here at OmniPrint HQ. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to use the shoe platen on the FreeJet 330TX Plus. At OmniPrint, we empower business owners globally to thrive with our print-on-demand solutions. One of our core values is being inspirational. Our goal with today's video and the rest of the content that we create is to inspire you to think outside of the box and get creative with your product offerings. Sometimes all you need is a nudge in the right direction to uncover the hidden gold when it comes to apparel decorating. It's not always just about the t-shirts and we've made that very clear on this channel. It's important to make sure you leverage all the capabilities of your machine when looking to scale your business. In case the video title didn't tell you, your FreeJet printer can print on shoes with our specially designed shoe platen. The shoe platen was specially designed by our OmniPrint engineers for the purpose of printing on canvas shoes. Like this one on our FreeJet 330TX and 330TX Plus. This device can stretch and hold the shoe precisely with its specially designed shape and hook to maintain the shoe in place for the printing process. Using this decoration method adds value to your already established business, giving you more product to push out to your customers. Now let's go over some numbers. Customized shoes average from $80 to $200 retail. The cost to produce those shoes will be between $3 and $6 wholesale, with printing costs around $1.50 to $2, you'll be making a lot of money per shoe. Now let's see how it's done. Take it away, future me. All right, let's get started with pre-treating these shoes. We want to make sure to pre-treat evenly across the shoe. Uh, we don't want to put so much that it's going to drip. Uh, it's just going to be a light coating, particularly for the white, and a little bit heavier for the black. All right, so now time to dry the shoes. Today we're gonna to be using a heat gun. So we're gonna let it get warm. Just gonna test it out on my arm to know once it's hot. And we're just gonna heat gun it until it's dry. Keep in mind when drying shoes, you need to make sure you're not using something like a conveyor dryer as it can melt the glue which holds the shoe together and you could end up ruining a bunch of shoes that way. Now that the shoes are dry, we need to wipe any excess pre-treat that could still be wet off of the edge of the rubber. Make sure it's nice and dry. I'm gonna set it over here when they're done. That way, we can do the next step, which is taping the shoes. All right, so next, we need to tape off the rubber sole of the shoe. Bam! Make sure you tape along the edges all around the bottom the front and the back. Back to you, Studio Brian. Oh, there it is. Before we load on the shoes, we need to put tape onto the platen. So we're gonna start with some painter's tape and we're gonna go ahead and put it on here. We don't need to cover the entire platen, just uh, the area where the shoe is gonna get stuck on. So we're gonna go ahead and put that here. You want to line it up as best you can. What we're going to do is put double-sided tape over top of it.
All right, so now that we have the platen tape, next step is to go ahead and load the shoes. We're gonna load the tongue onto the hook, like so. You can kind of do a dry fit of everything. And then we'll come back after we've tightened it, make sure everything's in there nicely. So we'll come over to the control, get across the camera here. And we'll draw it nice and tight, like so. Okay, and then we can push the platen down. And that'll lock it into position. If we get down on eye level, we can make sure that everything is nice and flat. Some areas of the shoe may stick up a little bit, and that's where you want to adjust the height to. So we'll go ahead and do a manual height adjustment to that area that's sticking up the highest. We're gonna set the computer to print on unidirectional, and we're gonna use a large drop size for this particular graphic. All right, so now that the print is done, we're gonna go ahead and release the clamps. We're gonna open it up, take the shoes out, and cure the ink. And we'll show you that with the heat gun here in just a second. All right guys, so that's all there is to it. All right guys, this is what you can make on your FreeJet 330 TX Plus. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one and hit the notification bell so you always keep up to date.